Sports Tonight on Channels Television. On Friday, March the 31st, 2017, Shion Adigun, Akwama Omeoga, and Ngozi Owumere were guests on this show. It was a Friday. They told us and the world about their dream of becoming record breakers. Guys, at that time, they didn't even have a, they didn't have a sled. And I asked you, are you going to do this? So, well, we're going to do it. They dared to dream. Let's fast forward. They qualified for the Winter Olympics. They didn't just go to the Winter Olympics. They broke records. They got the world talking about Nigeria and brought so much love to the country. I love talking about this story because it keeps telling us again that impossible is nothing. Friday, March the 31st, we brought those three lovely ladies. Friday again, they're here with us in the studio. Sheo Ngozi and Akuma, good to have you as first tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having us You know again. what the feeling I have is, let's just play music and dance. That's how excited <laughs> I am having you girls in the studio. Thank you so much for what you did for Nigeria. Record breakers, uh, eyes blazers. You guys told the world that, look, if you believe, you can achieve it. Sheo, let's begin with you. I mean, this was started as a dream for you. How much of a satisfied lady are you? Oh, so satisfied. I can't even express to you how much joy overcomes my heart knowing that we started this journey together and here we are, you know, finishing that same journey, that same dream together. Wow. Awesome. Akuma, the last time you were here, I remember I asked you a question. I said, no sled, are you talking about qualifying for the Olympics? <laughs> are you saying that you know that you girls were just going to do it? This faith, this this power of possibility, I don't know, because we want to inspire someone tonight. Where did you girls get that faith from that? We cannot just do it. If we believe in it, we will achieve it. Absolutely. I think that because of our positivity and our confidence, mm. we believe that people would help us along this journey, and they definitely did. We had um, some sponsors come through and actually support us in getting that sled. Um, and, of course, getting the whole entire sport, you know, just out there in the world, I think those helped a lot, especially building that awareness. And then I think that's when people were really just trying to get behind us and help us out. That's right. And it goes, when the team qualified for the Winter Olympics, what sort of a, what sort of, I don't know, what sort of feeling got to you? I think it was just an overwhelming experience um, at that moment, just because it was everything we had worked for. We talked about it all season, and it was now time to do it. And so when we crossed the line, it was like, okay, we're actually going to be able to represent Nigeria wow. at its first Winter Olympics. Wow. So, I don't know. It's bobsled. It's so alien to us. I mean, there's a child that has been born in this country for about 19 years probably hasn't seen the snow. I would see one or two goes. When did it come to you that this is a record, I'll go to it and we'll break it? You know, it's interesting that you said how alien it is to Nigeria because over the course of this project, we've actually learned that it's not so alien as people think. Uh -oh. It's just the snow that people are not very familiar with. But if anyone out there that's listening or that, you know, knows anything about Boris, it's exactly what it is. You start from high elevation and you come down to low elevation in um, something that's in wheels here, but it's just in snow when you get to bobsled. So to be able to put that together and then now just say, well, just do Boris on snow. It makes it a little bit more easier to digest. Akoma, does it get to you that Nigeria, I mean, it's Igbo, Alsa, and Yoruba, we're going to be at the Winter Olympics and we made it happen. Um, you know, I think that it just goes to show you that Nigerians United can do just about anything, um, mm. that we don't have any limits. And I, especially whenever we work together, then we can get things done faster, um, more efficiently. And honestly, it just comes for a better ending. That's right. Uh, Ngozi, how difficult was it qualifying for the Olympics? Um, I think it was very difficult, but we didn't understand how difficult it was because we were so focused on living day by day and tackling every day's trouble um, one by one. And so, I mean, just to say the least, we're here. And so it was difficult, but I think with a team like we have, we can get through anything and teams to come will have a better foundation moving forward as well. Let's go to Pyeongchang. What was the experience like? Ah, uh, it was so breathtaking. So much so to where I don't even know that I will say exactly how it was, maybe until it settles in from months from now, because it was just that amazing. Well, who, who cried? Who we cried? all did. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I, 
I like that. Now, because you know, during the opening ceremony, when they said Nigeria, you know, this is something that just moves. I used to see that when I go cover the Olympics, the regular Olympics, or you go to the World Cup, you used to, but at the Winter Olympics, when they said Nigeria, uh, Aquama, I'm sure you're like, my dad should be beating his chance that I did this and made this happen. Yeah, you know, it was kind of interesting, though, because during opening ceremony, you feel like you're in that stadium by yourself. And so I think that that was one of those moments that I had where I could actually take in fully what was going on and what was really happening. And for the first time, really feeling like, OK, here's that brush, breath of fresh air that we've mm. all been waiting for. And I think that everybody got that who was watching the opening ceremony. Because you girls didn't win, but everybody is showing so much love. Everybody is saying, they went, they saw, they conquered. And it gets to tell us again that sometimes it's not about winning, but doing something different. Yeah, I think the whole season we've been saying that visual rep representation is key. Mm -hmm. um, if people can see it here in Nigeria, especially our youth, then they can believe that they can do it. Just seeing us there and knowing that Nigeria could do this and we can create a foundation is going to lead to a bright future.